Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So some pretty steady increases here in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin up uh, 8.78, XRP still holding the second place, 7.64% increase. Total market capitalization still a 15 billion, holding above Ethereum. But wait, what if the market cap was much higher? Going to go to a tweet from uh, XRP underscore Canada here from a couple of days ago on November 30th. Now, November 30th, we know is supposed to be a very important date for a few reasons. On November 30th, uh, CMC, which is Coin Market Cap, will update their API. Uh, see image and second tweet below. What a coincidence that Corey Johnson brings up the incorrect calculation of XRP's market cap this week. And if you guys don't remember, uh, there was a tweet here by Corey Johnson from November 26th, which was two days ago. Imagine if they calculated the market cap correctly and he links an article there. But if I go back to XRP underscore Canada's tweet here, he had a screen grab here from a coin market cap. It's an Apache license library written by Python providing an easy to use wrapper around the coinmarketcap.com API. This library has been tested with Python 2.7 and Python 3.6 as of version 5.0. This library uses CoinMarketCap's public API version 2 as public API version 1. will shut down on November 30th, 2018. And there was some confusion um, whether it was going to be on November 30th or not. But let's get back to that in a bit. I found some information on XRP underscore veterans uh, telegram group. If you guys don't know it, I'll link it in the description. And somebody was pointing out that Yahoo already calculates. So this is Yahoo Finance and their cryptocurrency um, calculations here. Uh, already calculates XRP with the market capitalization of 37.93 billion. So way above Ethereum. I don't know when they changed this, but it's very interesting to see. Um, and guys, if you don't remember David Schwartz, uh, this is a this is a tweet from at XRP AKL. XRP underscore Canada retweeted it, and that's why I found it. But it's from at XRP AKL. Uh, and he posts some uh, David Schwartz tweets about the market cap uh, from back in January 2018. Something's not making sense here. A little contradiction maybe. If XRP's market cap is not calculated property, we better see a good price after November 30th. And David Schwartz, from January 2018, at the height of the last crypto boom, market cap's decision to exclude Korean prices from the displayed XRP price made the price to appear to drop. So what CoinMarketCap did was they actually excluded Korean prices. There was some uh, controversy there. CoinMarketCap finally decided to exclude them uh, and it made the prices appear to drop, likely triggering some panic selling because in a retail market, that's what happens. You see prices drop, you're likely to react to that. Look closely at the data and don't be misled. Then he also references the Corey Johnson tweet, imagine if they calculated it correctly. So we know that up until now, CoinMarketCap has not been actually calculating the market capitalization of XRP correctly. And back in January, David Schwartz mentioned that when they took away the Korean prices, the prices dropped and it was a psychological thing. So with that theory in mind, is it possible? And I'm not saying it will or won't happen, but it seems to me that if they can reduce the market capitalization instantaneously, the prices then um, appear to drop, as David Schwartz points out, and panic selling happens. Could the reverse actually happen if they decide to add those Korean prices back in? Will the price appear to go up and therefore cause some FOMO uh, panic buying into the market? Very, very interesting question. So now this tweet here, again from a few days ago, uh, XRP underscore Canada brought it to my attention. It is at Electra underscore Highway. Talks about the Kichiro thing, and I know a lot of YouTubers have covered this uh, regarding the $50 in 24 hour price. And guys, I'll link all this in the description if you want to read it in full. Kichiro Fuki says that we could see a $50 plus in 24 hour XRP. And could it be connected to all these upgrades? Well, we do not know for sure, but it certainly is something to think about guys. Um, so right here in the XRP community group, uh, another screen grab here uh, from a tweet from CoinMarketCap. Please understand that CoinMarketCap does not have any planned maintenance for that date. Uh, if this is in regards to our public API, it will be depreciated on December 4th, which is only a few days after that. Uh, and then I found another thing here. Coin market cap public API documentation. The public API will be migrating to new, more powerful professional API on December 4th, 2018. 
Please update your application to use the free tier of the professional API before then. A lot of screen grabs here, a lot of interesting information that you can find from uh, this Telegram group. Last thing I wanted to say, and this is a very XRP underscore Canada centric video today because he's sharing a lot of great information. Binance indicates that Ripple's blockchain network has JP Morgan and Bank of America on it. Uh, and I don't know if you guys can read that. It is very, very small print. Let's see if I can read it even. Ripple was initially launched in 2012 and is already a revenue producing company with over 100 financial institutions and banks on its blockchain network, including JP Morgan and Bank of America. Guys, if you can see that, um, great. You probably have a really, really good eyesight. A screen grab there from Binance. So guys, a lot of interesting things happening right now um, with XRP. I'm really curious to see what happens when CoinMarketCap does finally integrate their API. Uh, could we see the $50 plus in 24 hours? It's possible. I'm not ruling it out. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure. But damn, I gotta say, it feels good to hold XRP. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.